And let's now come back home where we have NASA preparing to have a rally in Eldoret, which is the deputy president's backyard. This is, of course, after launching, uh, or rather, having their power-sharing agreement signed on Wednesday. And we're joined by our senior political reporter, Ben Kitili, who is in Eldoret. Good morning, Ben, and thank you for joining us. Uh, let us know, what is the mood on the ground in Eldoret, Ben? All right, uh, good morning, uh, Michael. Indeed, as you mentioned, uh, this is the first uh, joint political rally by the National Super Alliance after they signed that uh, document uh, last week, uh, This by the, the, towards the end of this week. And the mood is one of, uh, it's a very busy morning here in Eldoret. a lot of activity. Uh, we are already at the 64th Stadium where uh, the NASA leaders will be addressing their rally uh, and already there is uh, people starting to scream in. Uh, obviously, uh, this, as, as you mentioned, is a, a stronghold, being the home area of the deputy president, William Ruto. And of course, uh, but of course, uh, Eldoret is a cosmopolitan area where there is expected to be uh, a, a kind of a tough battleground uh, to some extent uh, to, to fight for. Uh, a good chunk of the vote here in NASA have chosen this place to be their starting point after signing that agreement uh, that is on Thursday, uh, on Wednesday rather. And uh, we're expecting them to be here at around uh, 12 noon. Uh, we are being told they are in Busia. They will be landing at the Eldoret Airport uh, at around 12 noon. And uh, they will be having a procession through uh, Eldred Town all the way to where we are, the 64th Stadium, where they will be addressing the crowd. There is already a sizable crowd here at the 64th Stadium, so we expect uh, to have, uh, to have uh, a, a sizable crowd here when they will be making that address. Michael. All right, uh, Ben, any idea what may have advised them uh, to begin their rally in Eldred, uh, Ben? Well, um... It, it, it seems to be like a NASA strategy. Remember their first political rally, joint rally, when they announced uh, that they will be remaining united uh, at, uh, a month ago was in Bomet. They did, uh, uh, you know, have their first ever joint political rally in Bomet, uh, the backyard. Again, Bomet is part of the South Rift, uh, kind of uh, considered to be a jubilee stronghold. They were hosted by the Bomet governor, Isaac Ruto, there. Uh, they had a very successful political rally. Uh, then, now after signing that document, their first rally again in another Jubilee stronghold here in Eldoret. And then we are told that after this rally, they will be addressing another one in Meru, another Jubilee stronghold. So it seems to be another strategy uh, to kind of try and poke holes into what is perceived to be uh, places where they do not have a lot of uh, support to try and convert some of numbers, maybe the undecided voters, uh, maybe in a town like Eldoret, where there is, uh, which is a con cosmopolitan town, uh, maybe they are trying to boost uh, their chances in towns like this, Michael. All right, and uh, I don't know if you've managed to speak uh, to people on the ground, and basically what is their reception, especially given that uh, this is uh, seen by some as an area that would be friendlier to Jubilee, given that it is a stronghold for the deputy president, Ben? We, well, I have actually been able to talk to a number of people here, residents of Eldoret, natives of Eldoret. They say they are very democratic people and they listen to everybody. So they will, list, they will come here. They, t they told me they will come here and listen to what the national leaders have to offer them and then they will make their decision. Uh, there is a part of Eldoret where, uh, which has a lot of uh, Raila Odinga supporters. Uh, we did uh, go there uh, to, to eat some fish and talk to some people there. They say they will close down their businesses and come to listen to Baba. So uh, it will be very interesting to just see what kind of reception the NASA leaders get once they make their way uh, to this place, to the 64 Stadium in Eldred. Thank you very much, Ben Kitili, our reporter, senior political reporter who is in Eldred, where NASA is bound to hold their first rally after their signing of the power sharing agreement, which was done on Wednesday last week. So, of course, right here on KTN News, we are going to bring you those details as they unfold. They're expected to be there about by, by about midday, and our reporter, Ben Kitili, is there, so we will fill you in. Let's now move on to another.